This piece of work called Pod was made in Wolverhampton School of Art and it was a commission from the Jerwood Foundation to make some work for a school in Oakham in Rutland in England. And the piece of work had to be made really quickly um, and uh, in response to the particular site. And it's the second in a series of four related pieces. The first of them was made on an EU Leader Plus funded sculptural symposium in Candas, Asturias in northern Spain. Um, and that was a very experimental piece of work where I was really kind of um, discovering this way of making things. Um, this was the second piece, as I said, and it was um, a little bit more planned because I had longer to make it. So I was able to do site visits. And the, the, uh, the apertures in the, in the form that you can see in the images correspond to the um, sort of face height of um, two groups of users, children, because it's based in a school, which is a bit lower, and then adults, it's a little bit higher. The piece started off, so I spent some time in the courtyard where it was going to be located, where it is located, uh, watching how the people in the school used that courtyard. And I noticed that the children weren't necessarily sticking to the prescribed paths, so they were coming around through a different route. And so the bit of the sculpture that addresses the children really kind of looks at their point of entry into the courtyard, the unofficial point of entry, whereas the adult aperture looks at the, um, the, the, the part of the courtyard that I guess the architects originally wanted uh, users to um, access the courtyard from. Um, like a lot of my work, it really plays with how people work around a space, how people walk around a space, and it tries to pull people around the form. It's very in the round. Um, I said it was part of a series. There are um, a, a couple of other related works um, that happened uh, after this one. Uh, one of them was made in a sculpture symposium in Ellesmere. Um, and the final one, which you will be able to see on Imprimo, is the commission for the Jerwood Gallery in Hastings, which was the largest and the most resolved of these pieces. As I said, all of these works were made for their specific locations, um, but they also, I think, as the Hastings sculpture demonstrates, they also work outside of that context too. There you go. Hope that gives you a flavour of the piece of work pod. You'll be able to see from the images how I made it. It's quite inductive as a process. Um, then by the time I got to the Hastings sculpture, it was very much planned, but of course that's a larger piece of work as well, so it kind of had to be really. Um, that's what I have to say about that piece of work. Thanks for listening.